Good morning everyone, lovely to have you on board this morning for our collective meditation. While the music is just finishing off, let's namaskar, tie up our kundalinis, put ourselves into bandhan and let's see if we can bring our attention within. Jai Shri Maharaji. Let's just take a breath in and let's just hold that breath for a moment, trying to raise our attention to our Sarastrara and then breathe out slowly. And if you're like me this morning, if you've been awake and doing a few things, you might already have a few thoughts going through your head or you might just wake up with them. Let's breathe in again. And as we breathe in, try and raise that attention, not to a Sarastrara. Hold it for a sec. And let's breathe out. And any thoughts, anything, any ideas that are disturbing our attention, let's try and let them go on the way out. And this time as we breathe in, let's say to herself, Mother, please bring my attention into my Sarastrara. Hold it. And then as we breathe out, just say, Mother, I surrender everything to you. And again, breathing in. Mother, please bring my attention into my Sarastara. Hold it. And again, as we breathe out. Mother, I surrender all my problems, all my worries, everything that disturbs me at your holy lotus feet. Let's see how our attention is going. Let's see if we can feel it settling within us. For the next minute, just see how you can settle your attention. Hopefully, as we go through this morning's meditation, my attention becomes more and more settled. So let's see. We're going to listen to an eight-minute meditation. It's got music and mantras, and we'll listen to that for the next eight minutes. Comfortable, hands in the lap. 
come up with some course.
Let's just enjoy those vibrations for a few minutes before we listen to Sri Mataji's talk. Uh, this talk is called A uh, Sense of Vi Vibrations, Spontaneity and Maturity. What I find, the style is very different. They'll go from shop to shop, then make a list of it, then make all the measurements, then go home and say that we'll decide it tomorrow. That's not the way a Sahaja Yogi behaves. Sahaja Yogi has to decide everything absolutely, spontaneously at that moment. It should be like this. Now somebody is getting drowned. So the first impulse should be that you have to say. And how do you say? You jump in the water. Because you are protected, nothing can happen to you. So just jump in the water and you'll save the person. Minimum of minimum, this should be your attitude, this should be your temperament, that you take a very spontaneous decision. All this thinking and all kinds of uh, decision-making and having a big uh, conference for decisions and all that, not really. In day-to-day -day life also, you have to be like that. Also in every political life, economic life or any other life you have to lead, you have to be very spontaneous. How do you become spontaneous? What quality you have got? What is the weapon you have got to know what decision to take? Do you know? You have got vibrations. You have the feel of the vibration. And you know what vibrations are. You know what vibrations tell you and convey and communicate to you. They speak to you. So through your vibrations, you should know in a second what should you do. For example, now somebody told me that, Mother, when I came to Kabela, I felt tremendous vibration. It's a fact. But how many of you feel that way? Because your sensitivity is not yet developed. You have to be sensitive about your vibrations. You should know, looking at anyone, sitting next to anyone, even shaking hands with anyone, you should know what sort of vibrations that person has. This kind of sensitivity, if you develop, then you will definitely take a very spontaneous decision. You know, I'm very good at it. I bought this Kabela in five minutes, really five minutes. When I came here, they said, you can't go up because you have a big car. So the mayor said, all right, come along, I'll take you in my car. 
So I went with him on the car, on that car, and I saw it. It was all dilapidated, no doubt. It was all absolutely in a shambles, all right, and looked like a ghostly place, no doubt. And everybody who was with me, they said, wow, oh, what a place, Mother, you can't buy that. So I told the mayor, I am buying it. When? Today? Now? He was amazed. I said, you tell me, how do you, I buy? He said, very easy, in this Italy, you have to buy like this, that you pay one-third of the price, all right? And then you can occupy. If you find something wrong with the place, you can give up. But then you will not get your money. But if the other fellow is selling you, says, no, then he has to pay double. I said, very good bargain. I am buying, I have told you I am buying, I will buy. And everybody was surprised what Mother was doing. So what decided was the vibrations. Vibrations of the place. Just decided I am buying. That way they took me to seven, I think, castles. I said, no. Outside only I could say no. And they were surprised I didn't even go inside. I said, ask them what was here. They said, nunnery. I said, see. Now, you should develop that kind of a spontaneous decision. Then you will be amazed how in such a short time you can really achieve such great things. But that doesn't mean that you all should do that way. First you should have that sensitivity of vibration. If you have that sensitivity of vibration, then I would say you are now matured in surgery. So the maturity has to be brought in. You cannot just say now, it's all right, I've got Self-realization, I can do this. First you tally your sense of sensitivity. So now how do you know? For example, you take a spontaneous decision, you find that you have got nothing, it's all nonsense. Possible. But you can see for yourself that your decisions, if they are spontaneous, if they fail, if they are wrong, if there are some mistakes, or that will make you suffer, whether economically, politically, in every way. Then your whole value system will be judged very well how far you have gone into Sahaja Yoga, how far you have achieved your self realization and where are you. This is what is the way to test yourself. You should not be afraid of failures and not get enamored by success because you are self-realized souls. Oh. Oops. I was quite enjoying that talk. Anyway, let's sit silently for a few minutes.
let's just do the last of the three great mantras. Um, we'll put on music after this for those of us that would like to stay on and just meditate a little bit longer. Uh, thank you everyone for joining. It's very beautiful. The vibrations are flowing so sweetly. So let's just um, do the last of the three great mantras. Om Tvame Vasakshat Shri Kalki Sakshat Shri Sahasrara Swamini Moksha Pradaini Mataji Shri Nimala Devi Namo Namaha And of course, in your own time, when you're ready, uh, namaskar, type your kundalini and put yourself into bandhan. Jai Shri Mataji.
once again thank you everyone for joining lovely meditating with you Jay Shimadaji